Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to change the icons on your iPhone, iOS, iPad, whatever you want to do on it to make it look like anything you want it to look like. So here in this case, I have these icons right here. Now there is one kind of big caveat. It's not really that big of a deal, but it could bother you. For example, I have all these. Now I have these all pointing to Argario because it was way easier to do it that way, but you can go and customize the apps. We're going to go ahead and use Siri shortcuts in order to make it look like this. Now, do keep in mind that every time you go and click on it, it will open up Siri shortcuts and then go into the app. So for example, like I said, all these point to Agari, but if I open up the app store, it's going to open up Siri shortcuts, and then it's going to go ahead and open it to the app that I went ahead and, you know, open it up to. So keep that in mind. It's just kind of like a middleman, but it does make your iPhone look that much cooler. So in order to get started, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and hop into your app store. So you want to go on here. You want to go ahead and type in shortcuts and you want to find Siri shortcuts or the one shortcuts icon that looks like this and you want to go ahead and install it. Chances are though if you're running iOS 12 or newer you probably already have it installed. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open this app and it'll go ahead and take you into this page. If it doesn't take you to my shortcuts you can just click on the icon right here and it'll take you right here. So once you see that what you want to do is you want to click the plus button right here and then where it says new shortcut. You want to look at the bottom right here and you'll see this little search tab so you want to go ahead and click on it and you want to type in open apps so just like this open app not open apps but open app like i said before and you want to go ahead and find this specific icon and you want to go ahead and tap on it so once you tap on it this is very important you'll see this little thing right here where it says open and then it'll say choose so what you want to do is you want to click on the choose thing and you'll see a bunch of apps right here. So you want to find the specific app that you wanted to open up to basically whenever you click on it. So let's just say, for example, I want to open color road every time I click on this. So once you do that, so once you do that, you want to go and click next, which is all the way up here. And once you do that, you'll go ahead and see shortcut name. So you want to go ahead and name it whatever you want to. In this case, I'll just name it whatever such. It doesn't matter. So once you do that, you want to go and click done. Now, that's really pretty much the main process. Now, what you want to do is you want to go online and you want to find any icon that you want. Now, in my case, all I did was I typed in like iOS 6 screenshot. I copied this image or I, or I screenshotted it. And from here, I'm able to make even smaller images from this. So you just want to get into your photo gallery. You can even save it like this. However, you will have to take a smaller screenshot of it in order to kind of crop it right. And I'll show you guys what that means in a second. So type in whatever you want to, download whatever image. You can download the icons themselves if you want to. In this case, I just took a screenshot because it was way easier. Now, once you do that, you want to make your way back into your Siri shortcuts into the under the My Shortcuts thing. And once you do that, you want to click on the three dots that are right there. So those three dots, you want to go and tap on it. You'll come back into this page. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on that share little icon, which is right there and you'll be brought into this page. Now what you want to do is you want to click add to home screen. That's the very main thing that you want to do. You want to click on add to main screen or add to home screen, which is right there. And once you do that, you'll come into this page. Now what you want to do is you want to rename this to whatever you want to rename it, rename it to. So I'll do Crossy Road or whatever it was. So as you can see, I just renamed it to Crossy Road. I'm going to go ahead and if you want to change the icon itself, this is the most, most important part. You want to go ahead and tap on the little icon right here and you want to click choose photo. Now you can choose a file or you can take a photo if you want to, but in this case, we're gonna choose a photo and we're gonna choose that specific screenshot or whatever the icon, whatever it is, you're going to choose that specific image. So as you can see, I went into my photo gallery, I chose that image that I just took, I screenshot it a little bit lower so it looks a little bit like this. You can go ahead and screenshot yours to make it look like this. And all you have to do at this point is you have to go ahead and kind of crop down the specific image until it kind of fits into it. If it's not exact, it's okay. This thing does a pretty decent job of making it almost exact. So what I did here, I go ahead and click choose, which is right here. And as you can see, the icon changes, everything looks good to me. Now, obviously it doesn't suit the specific icon to the app, but it's okay, this is just an example. You want to go and click add. And once you do that, you'll see that on your home screen right there, you have that new app that you just, made. now I have those other ones right here. And this is the one I just redid. And look what happens when I click on it. I go and click on it. It opens up app, Siri shortcuts, whatever. And then it opens up the app itself. So like I said, it just opens up the app, which is kind of annoying. But you do get that effect of basically looking like this, which is really cool. You can change your icons to literally whatever you want to. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.